Welcome to DIY Solar Homestead. I'm looking at a place. It's kind of nice. It's kind of cozy on the outside. So, what I like, it's a good size. It's not too big. It's a three car garage. The downfall is traffic. It's pretty noisy right here. So, hold on. Now this is a good feature. This is beautiful. I can handle this. It's not very wide. You gotta go and check on, see what the dimensions for the property is. It's got another shed out back, a couple of them. So hopefully this will be really awesome. Here's the back of the house. Kind of a nice porch and such. It's a huge pole barn. I'm loving it. Got a shed right here. Looks like they had a dog house back there. Or some animals and a little fence line. Another two car garage out there per se. And the Dell house. But yeah. And out back is a bunch of steel. It's like they made a fence with steel. Let's see if I can zoom in. Maybe I'll take you out there. Okay, there's that. It's got leaks in it, which shouldn't be a problem. So, I thought it was facing a different direction. But there's the sun over there, so that would be west. And I'm guessing some of these trees are going to have to come down. And I'll have to put solar over here somewhere so yeah I want a lot more solar power and here I could put a ladder on the back of the garage so I could get up there I'd have to put poles up there so I could have wind generators all over the place of course <laughs> so, maybe a battery bank out here a couple of trees coming down put a wind generator on this maybe some solar so each building is most likely to be off-grid. So yeah, determine, I'd have to determine exactly the south. Maybe uh, solar arrays, sun trackers to follow the sun. But yeah, if I took it up high on a pole attached to the pole barn, I could get some solar arrays way high above the trees, above the tree line, definitely for summer. So I don't know what the width of the property is. I'll have to check that out in line. This is the second house. The first house I almost gave up. It was on the freeway. The phone app wasn't working. That's old train building back there. I don't know if that's, I don't know. I didn't go look at it. But there's railroad tracks back there. I wouldn't be able to hear it because there's no crossings around here. Oh yeah, I'm not a fan of a pine tree at all, so that'll probably disappear if I get this. I have to, I'm, I'm cheap, okay, I gotta tell you. I'm looking for approximately 65, 75 tops, so we'll see. It's got a fireplace in there which would be cool. I still want to put a, uh, uh, the stones down so I could have a rocket mass heater. That way I only burn a smidgen of the wood as to, as to most places. If I can get away with a half a quart of wood, that's the rocket mass heater. But this here is beautiful. Absolutely. All right, that's it. I'm gonna quit babbling. Here's all the tomato cages. I could get away with taking one of those now, but that's not my style. I could, I see how it's made. I can get some fence myself. I need one of those for the indoor garden right now. <laughs> Actually, I need two of those. This is double stack it for the indoor garden. The tomatoes are about eight foot tall. So anyway, we'll cut it right here. And have a nice sunny day.